Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Anatomy of a Mattress. And on this episode, we are opening up a sleep number. This is the personal preference number five, and it's a 2006 model. So what we like to do in the anatomy of a mattress is we like to go over what's inside the mattress. And you typically what we do is we start with the base layer and then we work on up. Uh, but this one, I'm gonna start from the top and work down just because of they both have zipper covers just to make things a little bit easier. I already pre um, opened them up. So what we're going to do is, uh, you know, open up for the first look at the cover and then go into the padding and then what's underneath. So and just as you might remember from watching our videos, there's three parts to a mattress. There is the base layer, which is the support. Typically, it's like springs or foam. Um, in this case, you're going to see it's the air chamber, the, the, like the air blow up mattress, right? Um, and then on top of that, you've got the padding, um, you know, that could be foam, uh, latex, memory foam, and then you've got the cover. What's, you know, is it, is it a quilted cover or is there additional padding inside it? Or is it a smooth top? In this case, it is a quilted cover. So first let's look at the cover. Um, and unfortunately we don't have the, the the air chain like the the connections that connect to the air chamber so we can have it completely inflated um so we'll just show you at least what's inside of it but first the cover now we got some there's actually a feels it's foam and then you have like the fr the fire retardant like fiber inside of it it adds some more plushness this is like a uh, like that poly type feel so that's in the cover it's going to give it additional padding it's probably adds about maybe about a total about a half an inch in the cover um, it's quilted to a damask cover so it's not a stretch in the cover so it's a nice cover but that's you know you get the feel from there and then underneath it, this is the, the, the padding. So we're going to open this up. And you can see the two the different layers inside here. So this is the foam layer that you're getting the padding from. So it's not just a um, um, like the air mattress. You know, this is what's providing that at least the comfort. Because if it was just an air mattress, it's just going to be like if you're camping you know, outside and on that blow up mattress. So this is what's gonna give you that, that padding. There is, that was about three inches of foam, probably with another about, uh, and this is memory foam underneath it. So probably about another inch, half an inch of uh, memory foam uh, on the, underneath the, the, the top layer. But that's the way this customer had their set up. They put their foam on top and then they put the memory foam on the bottom their partner on the other side they had it the other way around they had it reversed they put their memory foam layer on top a little bit softer and then they put their foam on the bottom um, that gives it a little bit firmer more of a, like a transitional feel so on this one you're able to at least change out the layers to kind of see what you know layer them differently so that's the uh that's in the in the uh um, padding and then it's just separated by this this other this other layer. So let's go ahead and close this one up and I'm going to remove the, the top layer, the padding so we can see the inside of it where that whole sleep number gets their, their name. And with foam, like it's like we always say with foam, um, if there's going to be impressions like this, this mattress is not immune to impressions because it has foam inside of it. Um, not, you know, people think, oh, well, it's the sleep number. It's got the air chamber. No, it can still have those impressions because you'll get those from the foam, not necessarily the, the air chamber. So this is a support layer and I'm going to show you guys what the support layer looks like. So we got on this one, on the outside, you see the, um, foam encasement. This gives it the structure so that the, the air chamber at least stays put um, and it gives it a better edge support as opposed to if it was just the air mattress underneath you, 
This will give it a stronger edge support. Um, and then you've got these corner guards that just helps keep it in place because there's another, this one right here. This one comes up at the head and locks it all in place. So that's the, uh, this right here is the, the edge support. Move this out of the way. Now let's go with the, what their support layer is. It's this air chamber right here. It has these two little holes for the tubes to, cut, to attach to. Um, this would be, you know, what inflates the mattress. And with the sleep number, this is what you're controlling as far as the firmness goes. You're controlling how much air is in there or how, you know, how much air you put in or how much you take out. The higher the number, the more air you're gonna have in the chamber. The lower the number, you're gonna, you know, deflate it some um, so it's not so, you know, so it's not so hard, so it's not so, uh, so firm underneath. So that's what you're adjusting. Um, I kind of wish, I'm actually gonna go in camping this weekend, so I wish there was like a, you know, something like to, to lock it off right here so I can use this as a, on my camping trip because it's a good size. It's about, this is a split cow king, so you're gonna get um, just a little bit smaller than a twin size. And you can see on this, because it's the king, it's that dual sleeper, you got an air chamber on both sides. So that's the support layer. And then underneath it, just giving it added support is another foam layer. Uh, you know, that's so one probably doesn't slide around, also gives it structure on the bottom. Um, so it's another foam piece under here. But really what's doing with that whole gives it that name that sleep number is controlling how much air you've got inside of it and then for for you know a little bit you're able to move around that memory foam and that foam piece to at least get that comfort layer just adjust it a little bit but mostly it's right here so the higher the number the firmer it is the lower the number supposedly the the softer it is and then this piece right here this is a center divider it's supposed to just divide the um the two chambers so that they're not moving around. It gives it a little bit of structure as well. It gives it more structure um, to the mattress. But man, this is uh, really all that there is to that whole sleep number. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna say it's good or bad, you know, cause there's customers that just love it. You know, they have their number that they, that they want. Um, but, you know, to get behind like the, man, what's, what's inside that sleep number that's causing it to be so expensive. It's really just that, I think it's the technology just to, uh, you know, have it connected to a to a, a remote and choosing how much air you want it inside the mattress or how little. And these are good, bit better than your 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 camping mattress as far as how thick it is. So it does it. You know, should last you a lot longer without having to continue to refill it. Um, but that's all there is to the uh, the sleep number. So if you guys found this video helpful. Uh, please like or and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, we're not on there comments too often, so feel free to leave a comment. If we get to it, you know, we'll uh, answer the best we can. Otherwise, send us an email. You can visit us uh, at mattressmakers.com, and um, you can also chat with us on there. And if you're local, you want to test out some of our beds, uh, feel free to come on in. We have a store in Miramar, one in La Mesa, and um, we're open Monday through Saturday, uh, Monday through Friday, 10 to 6, Saturday, 10 to 5, and then we're closed on Sundays. So hope you guys found this helpful. Until next time, we'll see you guys.